How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time I'm going to be reacting to the Black Hole Bomb and Black Hole Civilizations. This should be a very interesting one. Uh, I had a person by the name of Mikel Vega Molina. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name too bad. Um, they wanted me to react to this one. They said, if you really enjoy sci-fi, real science, try the Black Hole Bomb video. And uh, I looked and it's a year old, so it's a pretty old one, but I'm pretty sure it's enjoyable nonetheless. So without any further ado, here is the Black Hole Bomb and Black Hole Cil Civilizations by In A Nutshell. Black holes are the Starting largest collection of it. pure violent energy in the universe. If you come too close, they'll devour you and add your energy to their collection. And so oh the energy God. is lost to us forever. Or is it? It turns out there's a universe cheat code. A way of powering civilizations until the very death of everything, or of constructing the largest bomb in the universe. Huh. But how? Didn't we learn that all energy is trapped forever in black holes, even light? This is true. Everything you think you know about the weirdest thing in the universe is about to get weirder for one simple reason. Black holes are spinning. Okay, I am 100% on board with this. I am super excited to see what happens. Black holes getting weirder? Why black holes spin? Gra gravity something? I don't know. <laughs> when really, really massive stars die, their cores collapse under their own gravity into black holes. Yeah. This means something very big becomes very, very tiny. Mass. Like the tiniest anything can be in this universe. But stars are rotating, and a fundamental property of our universe is that things that are spinning don't want to stop spinning. We call this angular momentum. And this angular momentum can't go away. A big thing that spins and becomes smaller spins faster. So, okay. as the core of a star collapses, its momentum makes it spin faster and faster and faster okay. until it collapses you. into a black hole. And the black hole keeps on spinning, inconceivably Makes fast. Makes sense. Some of them spin millions of times a second. Damn. Why spinning black holes are special. Just like non-spinning black holes, spinning black holes have an event horizon and a singularity at their core where all of their mass is concentrated. Yummy. The singularity is usually described as a single, infinitely small point with no surface area. Okay. But points can't rotate, so a rotating singularity can't be a point. Instead, it's a ringularity. A ringularity is a ring with a thickness of zero and no surface, spinning extremely fast, containing all the mass of the so black like hole. A disc. The black hole like is spinning frisbee. so fast that it morphs space and time itself. It literally drags space with it, such Whoa. as its power. This creates a new and super weird region of space time, the ergosphere, which envelops the black hole. Huh. If space and time are completely broken inside the event horizon, then they're only half broken inside the ergosphere. Half broken? How can you be inside half broken? Inside the ergosphere, nothing makes sense. Okay. It's possible to enter it and then leave it again, but it's probably not a great experience. I must find you can out. You imagine it like this. Falling into a static black hole is like sliding down a hole. Okay. Being inside the ergosphere of a spinning black hole is like spiraling down a deadly drain. Oh no! The black hole transfers its own kinetic energy in the form of rotation to everything oh. that enters the ergosphere. The ringularity makes you dance whether you want to or not. <laughs> you need to move faster than dance. the speed of light just I to command stand you. still here, which is impossible. But here's our cheat code. We can Scissors. steal this energy. And there's a lot of energy to steal. Okay. How to steal energy from a monster. Take Guess the supermassive as as black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Okay. We could steal as much energy from it as every single star in the Milky Way emits in a billion years combined. Damn. The easiest way to steal this energy <laughs> is, oddly enough, to drop something into the black hole. Okay. We've seen that the ringularity forces energy on us when we enter the ergosphere, which is a lot is like mesmerizing. being a whirlpool with space-time rushing around and around. If you're clever, you can use the water to your advantage and swim faster than before. There you go. Gain that momentum. In practice, this means sending a rocket into the ergosphere and making a trade with the black hole. 
we give it some mass energy and it gives us some of its rotational energy. Huh. But it's not a fair trade. We get the better deal. Had a rip Normally, off a black hole. If you fire a rocket, you exchange chemical energy for kinetic energy. Yeah, okay. This is like pushing yourself forward in a swimming pool. But if you fire a rocket inside the ergosphere, it's like pushing yourself forward in a wave pool. Awesome. The rotational energy of the waves gives you a much stronger yeah. boost than you could get just by pushing <laughs> so yourself. So long, suckers! The boost from the rotation of the black hole is so big that you leave the ergosphere with much more energy than you entered it. Nice! The black hole gives a tiny amount of its rotational energy to you and slows down a little. Obviously, this requires a lot <laughs> of food. Fortunately, black holes aren't picky eaters. An advanced future civilization giant would vacuum. probably harvest asteroids to drop them into the black hole when they needed an energy boost. Oh. But there's an even better way to get energy from so we're a black just hole abusing and, our, enough, a black hole to our advantage. The biggest bomb any living thing could ever hope to build. Hey, pinky in the brain. The black hole bomb. Okay, here is where we get into the bomb part. We only need two things to build a black hole bomb: a fast spinning black hole and a big mirror. Okay. The mirror Back has to, to the mirrors. completely envelop the black hole which is similar to a Dyson sphere, yeah. another structure that harvests the energy of an entire star. Although I like that one be better. Easier to build. <laughs> mirrors are simpler, and black holes are much, much more compact than stars. Huh. So we already explained the Dyson sphere like a long thick, time ago. The metal of a big asteroid would probably be enough material for a black hole with the mass of our sun. Once our mirror is in place, we only need to open a window and shoot electromagnetic waves at the Should black hole. Should have been hole. the Power Rangers. You can imagine what happens next by imagining tossing a ball at a wall and it coming back faster than a bullet. The waves oh my hit the God. black hole at light speed. A small proportion of the waves falls past the event horizon to disappear forever. But a much larger amount sloshes through the ergosphere, where the black hole forces some of its rotational oh, energy on them I know it's and amplifies them. They now begin super radiant scattering, which are oh. fancy science words meaning bouncing around between mirror and black hole and getting stronger. Every time they go around, they Constant. are getting exponentially stronger. By opening some windows in the mirror, we can extract the Ooh, energy from bright. the waves as fast as they grow, which we could use in theory to create what would be for all practical purposes an endless source of energy for trillions of years. See, that's awesome. Or we could blow it up. Or you could just if blow it up. Why not? not released, they will continue to get stronger Homer. and stronger Homer. and take more and more energy from the black hole until the mirror shatters. A supermassive black hole would release as much energy as a supernova, making the bomb the largest explosion any living being could oh. ever create. The last home in a dying universe. The is, beauty of is the black hole civilization bomb, part? the Penrose process and the super radiant that scattering was devastating. is that they are not science fiction. In the far, far future, this might be the only way to survive in our dying universe. After all the red dwarfs have cooled down and all the white dwarfs transformed into black dwarfs, the universe will turn dark forever. Rotating black holes might be the only sources of energy in the entire See, universe. See, that's the that scary part because it's like it is if going so, to happen. The last Just living win. being in existence might one day end its life around a black hole which is equally chilling and uplifting. It turns yeah. out that even without any light, there are places we can go. Black holes are as interesting as they are mysterious. This was a really a good video. We know. Using maths, we can calculate things and come up with theories about how we die if we fall into them. Cool. If you're the sort of person who gets excited but about like, maths and calculating you, these you things, you can never yourself, truly know. Brilliant have put together Should a fantastic this? black hole quiz to help you get. All right, I'm gonna pause this. Uh, you never know about a black hole unless you go in it yourself, and then if you go in a black hole, it's probably too late for you. <laughs> but no, like back to what I was saying. This video was amazing. I loved it. I I noticed that there was more um like pop culture references in this one he didn't just use the birds like there was homer simpson there was pinky in the brain and stuff which was very enjoyable for me i really liked that i wonder why he changed it probably because copyright issues and stuff been there <laughs> but no th this video was awesome like uh like i say in every single one of uh in a nutshell's videos i am a total geek for this kind of stuff just the fact that 
it's possible. Like, but I mean, it, regardless, we're gonna have to do something because, like he said, when all the red, uh, the I'm just gonna say suns. When the sun goes bye bye, then what are we gonna do? Like, that's crazy. So we need to do something eventually before uh, we die. But really cool video. I loved everything about this. It wasn't necessarily so much as like a bomb video like the bomb part was like very little i guess because it was like simpler than trying to explain what a black hole actually does so that takes the majority of the video totally understand that but it, it was enjoyable i loved everything about this so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode Later days!